Unfortunately, there are some actual creeps out there lurking around. I swear I did it! And we've got the body cam footage of what happens when the cops catch up to their bad behavior. Ah! Today, we'll look at four cases of creeps that will send chills down your spine. Starting with this encounter that happened on November 6, 2022, police responded to a call from Daniels Hall, a dormitory at the University of Cincinnati. The caller informed the police of a male aggressor who assaulted a female student that got in the elevator with him. Hi there. Hi. Is everybody okay? Were you guys involved with a fight? Yeah, it was. He's in there. Yes, yes. All right, who's, who's on where? Okay, so basically what happened is this girl, she was in like a black t-shirt in the elevator and this guy was trying to like... Step up from here. So the guy in there in the UC sweatshirt and such was trying to basically, black sweatshirt, yeah, red. Yeah, okay, yeah. What was he doing? He was like trying to grab her. Okay. A guy was leaving. He was trying to grab her. She was yelling. Maybe she was talking, she right? was unhappy. She, she was like talk. she said, "Help me, help me, help so, me." And so I went over and I butted him. I was like, "Don't, don't touch her. What do you think you're doing? Get away from her." And then he. Just, I feeling you guys aren't supposed to be in there. He just came on to me. Upon arrival at the scene, officers are met with immediate engagement. A key witness who stepped in to help the victim recounts intervening in an assault where a suspect, identified by his sweatshirt, was caught aggressively restraining a woman in an elevator. Hit me. He was hitting me. He took me to the ground. I bit his hand so he would get off, and he got off. Of his, me. his hand did you bit, bite, sorry? His, his, okay. his hand. So he assaulted you. He assaulted me as well. He assaulted her. And he as the woman was giving a statement outside, inside, the suspect was apprehended by the police as he made a bold and unexpected move. You want to tell me what happened? You want to tell me what happened? Are you going to talk? Come on, let's go sit over here. You're not, you were not, you were not free to go, sir. You are not free to go. The other, he, the other girl, she was punching her as well. Get down! 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 Get down now! Hands on. Send some more officers. Sir, get, get, down. get down! Get down! Get your hands down! Behind. Get your hands behind your back right now. Get, get your hands behind your back. I got his arm. Pin. All right. I got you, I got you. Let me give this other couple on. Hey, lay down now. Lay down now. Give me your hand. The victim's harrowing account describes a frightening encounter in an elevator where she was grabbed and punched by the attacker as she attempted to leave. Tell me a little bit more about what happened, okay? I was in the elevator. I'm on, I live on floor five and I was going I was going down the elevator because I was gonna go back out after after changing. And he was, he, he was in the elevator with his friend and I go like I have the same body as you, like trying to be nice because like why not say that to someone? And then and then he tried he like grabbed onto the back of me and my shirt and like kept pulling me back. He was like, No, you're coming to floor three with me, you're coming to floor three with me. And then I was like, get off of me, get off of me, please get off of me. And then he punched me in the face like, I see, I see. Who does that to someone? I completely agree. Is there, did he hit you anywhere else? Did he only hit you the one time? Uh, um, I mean, he slapped me in the head and then kept going for my face. And then he finally, like, took, like, stood back and then, like, went in for a for a, full, okay. for a whole bunch, I'm sorry. That's okay. Do you need me to call the medic for you? Do you no, like no, 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 no. Do you I'm want fine. to go to the hospital at all? No, 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 no. Okay. No. no. Okay. Both the woman who stepped in to help and the victim wished to press charges against the suspect. Do you know her? No. Did you see what happened? Yes. I got okay. in. That was me. Okay. Do you, are you the one who called then for yes. us? Wonderful. Okay, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna have you fill out a witness statement. Um, I might know the answer to this question, but I'm gonna ask it to you anyway. Do you want to press charges? Against him? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> like I, said, I figured I knew the answer, but I'm gonna ask anyway just to clarify. Okay. Um, if you wouldn't mind, do me a favor. If you can sit on that corner for me over there. Um, I'm going to get you a piece of paper to kind of write down your experience for me, okay? And then I'm going to get her. Oh my god! Are you okay? 
in the elevator. Yeah. Okay, and who are you? I'm her roommate. Oh, she's my roommate. She's my friend. The victim continues to recount how the man attacked her and how the other lady came to her aid. So who all, was it just you and this other young lady that were in the elevator? No, she wasn't in the elevator. It was him and his friend that were in the elevator. And then I got in there alone with them. So I wasn't with anyone. And then we got to we got to the ground floor. And that's when she saw me and him like pulling me back. And she was okay. like, get off of her, get off of her. The suspect, identified as 18-year-old Christopher Campbell, was arrested and would be transported to jail. While he was inside the police car, the suspect acted erratically and even tried to bite an officer. The window. Hey, you try to bite me again, I'm going to add charges. Uh, You're going to go away for a long ass time. Oh, Get in the car. Uh, uh, Watch your leg. No, no, no. Mm. Do it. Stop that. Mm. Hey, stop. Now. No, no. Stop. No, no, no. no, 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 no. Get off. Despite still being unnerved from what just happened, the woman who helped the victim did her best to provide the police with a detailed account of what happened. And from when you first walked in the door. When I first walked in the door, I saw this one guy. There were two guys at the elevator, and there was the girl with the tie-dye shirt, with the black shirt. Okay. And they, there was yelling, and then the first guy left, walked out, and then she was in there, and this guy was starting, was like grabbing her, pulling on her, and she was yelling, she was like, no, no, she looked at me, and she went, help me, help me, help me, and he pushed her into the elevator, and he started hitting her, like punching her, like literally. You saw him punch yes, her? Yes, I saw him punch How her. How many times did you see him? Like two or three, two or three times. Like there was one in the lip, there was one in the head, like grabbing, trying to get her like to squint, you okay. know? And then I was like, to quote, I was like, don't touch her, get the f off of her, what the f do you think you're doing? And he looked towards me and he went like, what the f do you think you're going to do about it? And he started walking towards me and that's when he hit me in the head. He hit you as well? He hit me multiple times as well. Okay. He hit me in the head, I got like an elbow or something, he grabbed me, I tried hitting, just elbowing, hitting, he got me to the ground, he gra was grabbing my face, and at that point I bit his hand. Like, you hard. bit his hand? I okay. bit his hand. Do you know if he broke skin by any chance? I think, yes, because there was blood in my mouth. And he said, okay, okay, stop, stop. And so I like let up a bit because I thought he was going to chill, but he did not. He went, he kept going. He kept on and on so, you or her? On me. Okay. He, at this point, she had went up the elevator. So you're had not closed. just a witness to this. You're actually a victim in this as well. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. At this point. You're okay. Take a deep breath. At this point, she, the elevator had closed and she was going. I. She was not in the scene after that. I was yelling for the RA. The RA took a couple minutes to come around, and then he was off of me, just standing. Sorry. You're okay. That's okay. Take a deep breath. Just chill. You're all right. Sorry, I say just chill, but no, I just understand. Take, take I understand. You're all right. Take your time. Yes. And he was just standing there, and he started to try to fight the RA as well for a bit, but the RA was able to like get him to calm down. Okay. And at this point, there were probably like three guys around. The one kid in the long sleeve shirt. He had the four. I don't know if you got here, but he might be a witness. Okay. And I got. You okay. <laughs> Just take a deep breath, sweetie. You're okay. Take your would you would you feel more comfortable sitting? We can sit over on this brick wall over here. In the police car the suspect's wild behavior just kept on getting worse, and he even started rapping as the police tried to restrain him. Hey! Stop that shit! Uh, 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 trying to bite me. No, Superman. Stop! Now! Stop now! Stop now! Knock it off! Bitch, I hear Shoot me. Shoot me, No, we are not doing that! Do that shit! Do not undo your seatbelt! I'm gonna Oh, you a shoot me. Oh, I'm gonna do that. You, 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 use a door. No, you. Oh, no, 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 try that. Try that. Try that. Oh, oh, shit. Yeah, try that. Come on. Don't grab my body cam. Don't grab my body cam. Come here. You a. I'm glad you're a. You always been. You always been. Ah! Oh! Back in. Mm. Push him over. 
No. Are no. you pulling him out? No. No, I'm pushing no. him in. He's hooking his foot. Stay in there. Stay in. No. Ah! Stay in. Watch out, he's Get in. Get in the car. Get your feet in. What? What's passing? Get your feet in. White Castle. Probably back in the castle. That was on my wrist, and you know that this fast. I'm not. I lost my camera somewhere. I got your camera, don't worry. All right, put your foot back in. The police looked for other witnesses who could give their statement about what happened. It was also discovered that the person Christopher was with left his phone on the scene. Real quick, guys, what did you guys see? Wait! Well, never mind, we can't, we can't discuss that. The guy the um, guy did, you, did you guys see the, an assault? I think we saw. saw. You saw the assault? Yeah. You did? Did you? Uh, I didn't say, I just came after this. Okay. After the assault. Right. The rest. Are you willing to sign a uh, uh, witness statement, what you saw? Yeah, I couldn't. Okay. We don't need you for anything. Did you see an assault? I just saw him breaking it up at the end. Okay, so you didn't see the... the no, not start. the girls. Okay, no. I, don't, I don't think we'll need anything. Either. Okay. I just was we there just to showed help. Up at okay, I don't think we'll need your guys. You three, we probably won't. I we left the elevator out of the two guys, the guy that left. I, this might be his phone. Okay. Thanks. Well, hold on. In fact, I, I think it is because I think I walked in and I said, I remember this now. I walked in and I said, Do you, hey, your phone's down there. And that's when he left and then that's when like the fighting began. Awesome. We'll so, hold on to his phone then. Perfect. And if he calls for it, we'll come talk. We'll have him talk to us too. Seemingly lost in his own world, the suspect engages in incoherent rapping while being transported to jail. Given his extremely erratic behavior, the police had probable cause to believe that the suspect was under the influence of something. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Turn around, spin around, turn around, look, left, look, hold on, I got that rook. Devin Booker on the James, hold on. They say that I'm, look, where does LeBron James, Michael Jordan, turn into the chair. I put your bitch in the air. And you know I got the stairs. And you know this shit is rare. And you know I never care. And you know, hold on. And you know I can care. Hold on. Go back. Split the brown track. Fat or black. And you know we that. Hey. Hey. Let's get a little da da da. I fuck out y'all. Put on y'all back and I suck da da da. Bitch. Corvette, Corvette. Hop in the jet like that. This shit I don't like. I snitch. That's the shit I don't like. I put my hands up to play my song. The girls arrive at the police station to provide a written statement of what happened. Uh, your statement of what happened. Okay. So it does not have to be, you know, when I woke up this morning, I wasn't feeling too good, and then I got up and went down. You know what I mean? Really, it's about what happened here tonight. Like, you know, when he, I yeah, got on the yeah, elevator, yeah. I saw him, and yeah. he said this, I said that. Christopher Campbell, age 18, faced charges of aggravated assault, unlawful restraint, resisting arrest, and assault. Creeps are horrifying, but what other definition can be used when their target is set on young, innocent kids? This next case follows a horrifying incident that took place on August 25th, 2023, when a 19-year-old male identified as Andrew Hakeem Jewell allegedly forced an eight-year-old girl into the bathroom inside a thrift store in Sandusky, Michigan. Police arrived at the scene and the mother immediately recounted what happened. My daughter was apparently attempted to be pulled into the bathroom by a young man here. I said a young man. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. My, I was right around the corner at the racks where the clothes were. My son came over and told me someone was trying to grab her and take her into the bathroom. Okay. I obviously went over there and he was inside with her trying to get out of the bathroom, crying. That's another reason why I don't believe that he tried to push her out because I saw her in the bathroom. And when you found him, she was in the bathroom. She was in the bathroom and he was in the bathroom behind the door because the door okay. like opens. Okay. In. In. To, okay. And I saw her trying to get away and like crying. Okay. Was did he have a hand on her or just she was trying to? I couldn't see because the door. I could see like half of her. Okay. You know what I'm saying? All right. I've got everything I need from you guys. Okay. Why don't you guys go ahead, just take off. We'll get back with you guys when we have more information, okay? Yep. Yeah. What? Somebody, uh, hit the 
course they're trying to pull her into the bathroom. Is he in there? No, Stop. hey. Is he in there? Stay here. No. Is he in there? <laughs> I'm going to go deal with that in a moment, okay? Did, did, did he pull you into the bathroom? After talking to the mother, a man who appeared to be in charge of the store told the officer that Andrew already had previous charges for the same thing. So, he does, he had a charge in the pier that was on probation for board misdemeanor, but he was never charged and he never had enough evidence for the same thing. I see on the camera, I can forward it to you, is him going in the back, mm -hmm. coming back out, mm -hmm. then looking, and waiting till they came back around. And, and it's right back there in the corner, so I have no clear angle on that. On that. His name is Angie, I have his information. I'll be getting that somehow. Okay, so I got both doors locked, just okay. because of that situation. I didn't want to right. escalate. Would you like to go around back? Can talk to him or just yeah, well, we go through you. That's my question. So, the way I questioned it was, is I said, just, oh, just head right in here and we'll talk in just a moment. We're right there in a second. So, this is what he explained to me that he was in the bathroom, okay? Mm -hmm. And he said, someone pushed in, he went like this. And he went like this grab and said, hey, you can't be in here. But, you can see over Head on in there. So, I'll forward it to you. Police confronted the suspect, who immediately stated that he's going to jail. The suspect gave his account of the events and told the officer that it was the little girl that walked up to him, halfway in the doorway, which caused him to freak out. You got an ID on you? Yes. Well, can I talk to you? Well, I need your ID so I know who I'm talking to first. I'm going to go to jail, ain't I? Because everybody's going to believe everything. Is he going to pose a tape? That's what he's doing. All right, can I talk, please? Yeah, go ahead. I was in the bathroom. Before I shut the door, I told her, because they pick a free toy. You can ask them up there. I told them that you guys can get a free toy. I said, well, they're looking at the toys. I shut the door. When I was using the bathroom, the little girl walked in on me. And she made it halfway in the doorway. I freaked out and tried to slam the door, and it hit her. That's why she was crying. I can't go to jail, dude. I'm on probation. What are you on probation for? Uh, a misdemeanor assault. I can't. Misdemeanor assault for what? I don't know. I. Where do you live at? The rescue mission. Please, I can't go to jail. I'm so screwed. I can't survive in there. Just wanted to give you guys some privacy. No problem. Tom. Tom. I, I can't go to jail. What? Buddy, this is so yep, far I, I, I'm just going to see this. Gonna, I want to make sure I'm I going up your name now. I have a question. Can we step out the back door so I can at least smoke while we talk, please? While the officer was noting his information, Jules started to show signs of emotional distress and looked as if he was about to cry. been in trouble for anything else? Nope. Okay. And that was in Saginaw. So screw. So you're on probation out of Saginaw? Yes. It, the probation officer knows I'm down here. I'm going to set my bag down to the side while you're That's watching. That's fine. All right, just stay in here. I'll be back with you in a minute. Yeah. But what Andrew Jewell told the officer was far from the truth. His misdemeanor case came from an incident in February 2022, where he entered the female restroom in a movie theater and grabbed a 10-year-old girl. The man showed the officer footage from the store cameras to get a better picture of what happened. Although the video did not capture everything, both the man and the officer concluded that the victim's story adds up more than Andrew's. What do you want me to send me? The one thing, I gotta get better cell service. It's not gonna let me, it'll let me share it. You gotta find it to send it to you. It doesn't show. See, there's the, 
little girl right there. And her daughter went to the bathroom. See, here, here she's coming to the bathroom. The little boy found, but the little girl never goes on that side. Then, let me speed it up a little bit. It shows her the whole time, but it shows him coming. The little boy comes back over. He goes around seeing that shows Andrew going into the back room. Okay. But he comes back out. Go ahead. Clear. Okay, so it also shows him. So now this is farther down, and it'll show him coming back out into the bathroom. Come on. So that doesn't add up with the video camera. Mm -mm. But he's saying, see, that's where he comes out again in there. But he doesn't go to the bathroom, see? He comes around here and started looking for us to see where we were at. I'm in the office. Heather's right there. Chris is right there. And see, he's looking for the little girl right now. He just saw the little girl walk back over there. And there's a the little boy, see? Now he's walking that way. So her story adds up more than his. Mm -hmm. I got that. So I will, when I get, yep. I'll get that. And that's all the video we have because no one else moved in that period of time until he comes running up screaming at me saying, hey, they're calling the cops on me. So you still want it? Or? Yeah, we need it. Okay. In the December 2023 preliminary examination, the eight-year-old girl recounted being grabbed by her shoulders and dragged back into the bathroom. She said that the door was half open while Andrew attempted to pull her inside. After seeing her sister in distress, her six-year-old brother alerted their mother, and that's when she saw her daughter struggling to get away from Andrew. Andrew had given the officer his account of what happened at the thrift store and kept the same explanation in court. Please, can I talk to you first? I already talked to you. Okay, hold up. Your story doesn't add up. I'm telling you, I swear to God, I was in the bathroom. She, the reason why she was crying, she hit her head. I swear to God, I wouldn't lie, please. Well, I swear to God. I, I got a problem with your statement because I got the little girl saying you grabbed her by the shoulder. I got the brother who said you grabbed her by the shoulder. And the mom says she was trying to get out of the bathroom and had to pull away from somebody to get out. Cause can I explain? Can I, can I walk you to the bathroom and show you what? We I, were just there. No, but can I show you? Can I show you when walk to the bathroom? Dad, stay on the phone, please. All right. So I'm sitting on the toilet. Open the door real quick. Just open it. Mm-hmm. She walks right, she opens the door and walks right there. I hurry up and get up and try to pull my pants up and I grab her shoulder. Like I said, then the little boy came around the corner, and when I tried to push her out, the door got stuck into my foot. It kept pushing, so I'm trying to pull my pants up and push her out. And that's when she hit her head right there. That's when she started crying, and the little boy saw me put my hands on her shoulder, because I put my hands on her shoulder to stop her from coming in fully, and that's when I pushed her out. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I swear to God, please. Go ahead and get off the phone. You were taking me to jail? Yeah. Please! Please! Get off the phone. Please, Get I off swear. The phone. I swear to God. I swear to God. I swear to God! Turn around, put your hands behind your back, right now. <laughs> I swear to God! <laughs> I swear to God! I swear! Stop. I swear! I didn't do nothing! Can I at least speak to Tom before I go? Can I at least speak to him? Can you stop screaming? Yes. <laughs> Did the camera show me doing anything? The cameras back up more what the little girl said than what you said. Tom! 
I swear I did it! No, damn! Just before this incident, Jewel had recently relocated to Sandusky and resided at the Michigan House of Hope Shelter. Part of his living arrangement was to help out at the thrift store. We're going to ask you to leave the shelter. Even if you do get bailed out, I will have your stuff. I will, do you want me to call Jennifer and have her come pick up your stuff? You cannot stay at our shelter. You're no longer welcome. Okay? Right, listen, listen. That's listen, if you at least listen to me. Okay? Can, can I say one name, Tom? One name, please. I'm begging you. So, if I'm going to jail, am I getting out? You are no longer welcome at our shelter. So why I have to go to jail if I don't go to the shelter? No, you're still going to jail. I do you see another shelter? That's up to the judge and that, that stuff. They're sagging off. Yep. C can I at least call you while I'm in the jail? Please. Please. Jennifer would be better off to help you at this point. I mean, there's nothing I can do for you. I swear I did it, dog. I, that's up to. I so swear to God. That's someone else besides me to decide. I swear to God, Tom. I don't decide that officer. Just well doesn't decide that. So that's stuff be, be beyond us. I swear to God, Tom. Okay. I swear to God. Thank you for everything, Tom. But I swear to God. So you want me? So this phone? Do you want me? You want to take it with you? Yes. Your backpack. You can, you can have it stay big enough. Alright, I'll, 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 I will call Jennifer. Okay. Here, put this in the backpack because yeah, he yep, can't yep. have those. Yep, you got a lighter in there? Yeah. <laughs> As they were leaving the store, Andrew maintained that he didn't do anything. I swear to God, I didn't do nothing! His backpack's still back there. I swear to God! I figured. Yep. <laughs> I swear to God, I didn't do nothing! <laughs> Can you at least not hold my arm so tight that hurt? During transport, Andrew once again pressed the officers on whether the camera caught him doing anything. Did the camera see this so we do it? Yes, I swear to God I did it. Why won't you tell me? The cameras don't have a good view of the bathroom. The cameras show you going into the bathroom. Because I have three people who say you had your hands on that little girl and that you weren't supposed to. The mom's getting late. She just saw me pushing her out of the bathroom. Yeah, well. The little boy came around my hand was on her shoulder. I told you that. 4204 Central Advised Corrections where it's security. I swear! I swear! I swear to God! Nobody believes anybody no more. I swear to God, I wouldn't do something like that. I swear to God, I did it! with misdemeanor assault and battery, two felony charges, including the amended charge of kidnapping, child enticement, and an original charge of attempted unlawful imprisonment. As of the latest update, a two-day jury trial to set to begin in May 2024. While Andrew awaits trial, he remains in the Sanilac County Jail under a $50,000 cash bond. Our next case took place on November 19th, 2022 in Florida. Officers responded to a call at a Walmart about a man reported to be inappropriately touching himself around other shoppers. Upon attempting to make contact, the man immediately ran away from the officer, which led to an intense chase. No, Get on the ground! Get on the ground now! Oh, what happened? What happened? 
Back to the After immobilizing the man, assistance arrived and they successfully detained the suspect. But shortly after getting him off the ground, the man attempted to flee from the officer, not just once, but on multiple occasions. Turn off. Turn off. Turn off onto your stomach. Now. Stay right there. Now 22-6A was one. One detained. It's a black male. I'm gonna be down by the grocery entrance. Dude. And you start a supervisor for a taser. What the fuck is wrong with you? Kevin, stop. Relax. That's up to you, I know you. Know me? Stand up. Stand up. Right there. Can you grab that, sir? Stop. Stop. The suspect will be temporarily held in custody inside a Walmart in-store police station for questioning. During the walk, the officer explained to the suspect why he's being arrested. Well, man, I was trying to talk to you and have you leave the store. Why? Because you're f***ing off, following those women around. But now, you're going to jail. For what? Resisting arrest, fleeing. Lewd and lascivious behavior. I'll leave. I'll leave, sir. Don't start. Don't, don't do it, man. Listen, you already went to jail. Okay? Just give me a ticket. You already went to jail. Don't make us have to dump you in here. All right. Can I get some water first, please? You'll get you some water. Please. We're going to go in this office. My phone's fell. My phone's fell. Okay, we'll get it. Go ahead. My phone's fell, please. We'll get it. No, you're not. Somebody go pick it up my phone. Let's go. Let's get my phone, man. We're going to get your phone. Get in there. Get in there. Alright, step out. Have a seat. Yeah. Can I get a piece of that water, please? What's up, bro? Can I get my phone, please? Sit down. Can I get my phone? Ah! What the? F I need some water. We're getting it for you, but I'm, calm down. Look at my Chill face out. My eyes. The man strongly demanded water, saying he was about to throw up. While this is happening, the officers had to hold him down several times as he kept on refusing to remain seated. Sit down. I'm not trying to fight. I'm not right. trying to fucking fight. Listen, Stop. you Turn need to stay. Water. You need to stay seated. I asked him to bring some water, okay? You're making okay, this work. Wait, stop, 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 stop. Stop, stop, all right, stop. No, you're not doing you stop. I'm not, ah! I'm not fighting with you. I'm not fighting. Can't you just my, can you get off my neck nah. with the You already got the stripes with me. I ain't got the picture. All right, man, I just want some water. We're getting it. Can I get that water right there? I'm about to... Please! You just want to go over there, right? Well, you you throw up on us. Can I get some water, please? They're bringing the water. Damn, man. Stop pushing me. Stop moving. I'm not doing nothing. Stay seated. You've been too flimsy. You, you, you moving all right, too much. All right, all right, all right. pushing me on the shit. Bruh, be still. I'm not doing nothing. Damn, bro. Can I get some water? Hey, relax. Can I get some water? Relax. You're not going to get water if you're acting this way. Just chill. Sit up. Own up to it, it's done with. Okay, can I get some water, please? Oh, you might have dropped this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hold on a bit. Yeah, I'm going to go out there and grab it. I'm not going to too. Let's do what you're going to do. I'm going to just let you know what's in that room. Miss, what the f? Because you're not doing shit. You can't let me move around. You're a f.
my nail. Because you already stood up twice. What the? F you're breaking my nail. Everything. Damn. Relax. Bro. Oh my gosh. Look. I'm trying to relax. Okay, so just sit up and relax. Don't Can I get some more charge. water, please? Miss, seriously? Yeah. The man started to provide details about himself. He told officers that his name was Nathan Jefferson. Later, police determined that the information he gave them was not accurate. Jefferson. First name? Nathan. Where's your middle name? None. Can I get a fucking date of birth? Please, can I get some of my water, please? Yeah, I'll get you another one. You need to, I need to get this. What's your date of birth? May 24th. 93. Your address? I don't have one. So, where do you live? Nowhere. Where do you lay your head? Nowhere. Okay. What's a good phone number for you? The one I have. Okay, well, I'm not a mind reader, so what's your phone number? I don't have one. Okay, so then we don't have to worry about the two phones you dropped, right? Because they're well, not yours. I don't have a phone. Okay. Well, I do, but. <coughs> you know, I need a bathroom. I'm gonna piss myself. Mr. Jefferson, the information that you gave me is not uh, it's not accurate. Because I'm not from out here. Where are you from? I was born out here. That's not what he's asking. Where are you from? What's your social security number? I don't even know that. Do you got a Florida driver's license? No. He's lying. I don't have I don't have one. You guys see what happened with me? You have a state ID? No. Have you ever worked anywhere? No. Just tell us niggas. Can I get some more water, please? Tell him your right name. I just told him. So is it. You're going to get booked into the county jail as a John Doe. And you'll sit there until they figure out who you are. So, I'm going to advise you to give an officer false information. I'm not giving you false charge, information. Okay? So, give me your last name again. I'll just give it to you. Okay. Give it to me again. I'll just give it to you. Okay. So, your last name is Jefferson. Jeff. First name is Nathan. Nathan. Your date of birth? 4-23-23. Okay, so that's different than what you gave me. First you gave me 5-24. 4, I didn't say 5. So 4 23 And you never had a license or ID in the state of Florida? Mm -hmm. How long have you been in Florida? Not long. I'm not in the system, bro. I'm gonna get in trouble. Okay, I'm just asking. How long have you been in Florida? Not long. After reading him his rights, the officer once again explained why he was being arrested and asked the suspect to explain his actions. The reason I read those to you is because right now you've been arrested for lewd and lascivious behavior, which is what I observed you were out there doing in the clothing area of the store. That's on video, right? And when I came to make contact with you, I was coming to address that. Initially, I was going to talk to you, trespass you from the business area. Once I tried to talk to you, you took off running for whatever reason. I'm still not entirely sure. Okay, so we're kind of beyond the point where I would give you a warning and send you on your way. So what I want to talk to you about is why you were doing that in the store. Is there any reason? Okay. So at no point when you're in the store do you recall like actually you know, pleasing yourself in the store or anything like that. Really? No, sir. Was not. I mean, if someone seen me and thought I was unattractive in any way and felt that I was just trying to come and make them feel comfortable, I don't know, but I was not doing anything such as like masturbating and stuff like that. No, sir. Okay. And so when I came to make contact with you, you said that you took off running because you were nervous. I said what? You said you took off running because you were nervous or you were scared? I took off running, but, you know, I just tried to stay away from that type of stuff. So what was the reason that you took off running when I said, hey, you know, my man, come here? It doesn't matter now, bro. Since the suspect refused to give his identity, the officers tried to ID him using their facial recognition software, and what it revealed was the suspect's long list of past criminal charges. I got it. <sighs> no, you just want to rough one, bro. You just doing unnecessary stuff. I'm thirsty, man. Y'all didn't even give me no water. You had a whole bottle of water. And you giving out fake names. Indecent exposure, exposure of sexual organs before at a 24. 24? 30, 35? Oh, aggravated battery on police officer. You like to fight police officers. And run. Aggravated fighter on firefighter. Oh, you like to fight. Why, why should we cooperate with you? You still didn't give up your name. We had to go through all this extra trouble. And I've already given you two bottles of water. That you've had enough. The other one wasn't full. Okay, well, you know what? We're not required. To, we don't have to give anybody any water. So you're lucky. And he got a 49 for VOP. 
and more of the same. He got a history of 43 and 31 on Aaliyah, resisting with. So. As the officers escorted him to the police car, the suspect made a bold move and attempted to flee from the officers once again. I got you, 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 I got you. The suspect's uncooperativeness made placing him inside the police car more troublesome than it should be. You gotta stop, man. You're making this worse. You're gonna stand up. Stand up. You gonna hold me my feet? You gonna me stand up? Let his feet go. Stand up. Stand up. Get in the car. Yo, you come on. Bro, you're so extra. Sit up. Sit up. Sit up. As a consequence of his actions, the suspect was charged with lewd and lascivious behavior, resisting, giving a false name, and simple battery. On June 10th, 2023, officers received two reports about a man who allegedly groped people, including an underage girl, while in line for the Raptor roller coaster at an amusement park. All right, I'm gonna go up to the exit. You guys stay here. The body cam footage shows Sandusky police officers waiting for people to come out of the Raptor ride to confront the man, identified as 30-year-old Wesley Crows. The police immediately spotted Crows after the ride and stopped him for questioning. I have one with me right now, just advise if it's not the right one. According to the report, a man at the park claimed that Crows invaded his personal space and caressed his torso and hips. When the man confronted Crows, the suspect allegedly punched him in the nose. Additionally, the man's girlfriend also reported that Crows pressed and rubbed his buttocks up against hers. All right, so go ahead and place your hands on your back for me, okay? He's in custody. Are they going to come get him or do they want to relay? I don't want to Bring him to the jail. They'll come pick him up. Clear. Yeah. Like, yes. okay. The couple did not wish to press charges, but the Sandusky police officers arrested Crows for an outstanding warrant they discovered during the investigation. The warrant was issued in Richland County. However, another complaint would come up later that would make things worse for Crows. Yeah, so somebody reported that they got into some sort of confrontation with you, but they don't want to press charges, so it's over and done with you. Don't got to worry about it. It's a failure to appear sentence being on dangerous drugs. 
the warrant from Richland County was revealed to be a drug-related charge where Crows failed to appear for sentencing. We gotta go speak to the judge. For real? Huh. Warrant's that, a warrant, dude. No, I don't work for Richland that's, County. That's made up right there. A possible drunk? No, it said it's uh, the warrant is failure to appear for dangerous drugs. Dangerous so you did, did you skip a court date? No, I, I'm on papers. Okay, then you can go tell the judge about it. I don't know, man. I, I'm not from around there. While the police waited for transport, Crows was questioned about his warrant. Who else did you tell by? Uh, my buddy, my cousin, his old, his girl. Did you drive or did they drive? No, they drove. They drove. So they have a way home and everything. You're going to go to Erie County and uh, Richland County is going to come get you tomorrow. Because we're, we're not driving you all the way down there, so Richland County is going to come pick you up. So I'll speak, I'll speak to the lieutenant when she gets back here with the car, and uh, we'll see what we want to do with that. But if at a bare minimum, you'll be able to call somebody when you get to the county. Well, okay? I mean, I shouldn't have to go to a county. Oh. Dude, you got a warrant, you're going to the county, period. I mean, That's how it works. In a turn of events, police later charged Crows with sexual imposition when they received a second complaint this time coming from a 16-year-old victim who filed the charge. The 16-year-old and her mother reported that Crows came up from behind the girl and placed his hand between her legs and touched her private region outside her clothes while she was in line for the raptor. The police report indicated that the girl had taken a photo of Crows when he was in line. Crows, who was initially arrested for an outstanding warrant, was charged with sexual imposition. Today, we've witnessed the chilling cases of ordinary-looking individuals that have been unmasked as sinister figures by the vigilant gaze of the body cam. We've got more to uncover, so stay tuned and check out another video. Just tap or click.